Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing great. So here's the thing, totally forgot to record my intro for this video, but it's okay, I'm doing it now after the fact. Um, my buddy reached out to me and he was like, hey, you know, seen you catching a lot of triple tail lately. It's cool if I tag along, try and find some together. And I was like, yeah, of course. And, uh, and basically I decided to kind of just go out, you know, show him how I like to catch triple tail on lures. We use these lures, which you guys may have seen in my videos recently. These are the Chase Baits Krusty Krab. I'm not sponsored or affiliated with Chase Baits, just throwing that out there. But these have become my favorite triple tail lure and for sheep's head too. They just work super, super well. Um, triple tail will eat a lot of things. They're not crazy picky, but these have worked almost every time for me. Um, when I'm sight fishing triple tail and I usually just give them a little bit of uh, scent with Dr. Juice or maybe some Pro Cure, and it works pretty good. And then aside from the triple tail, I've also been doing pretty well, you know, throwing top waters for reds and snook in the marsh. So I decided to test this new top water for mirror lure. I'll put it up on screen. Um, I won't spoil any of the details, but I'll definitely uh, let you guys know what I think about it at the end of the video. But yeah, enough of me talking. I'll go ahead and let you guys watch the video. Oh, I'm on. Are you really? Yeah, it's a trout. That was quick. There. I can't see what you're talking about. They're just popping up. Oh, it's a lady. Come on. Yeah. Oh. We'll take a couple more casts and nothing quality pops up. We'll just keep running, get on some triple tip, hopefully. Oh my God, that was, that was insane. I don't even know what that is. I think I might have a tarpon. Actually, I think it's a lady. I'm still getting hits over here too, but I'm afraid. I think there might just be too many ladyfish. Cause there's, I think there's trout on the bottom of them, but they just don't stand a chance. Is that a lady? Yeah. Oh my god, it's a triple tail on a spoon. Is it big enough? Right next to the boat, yeah, he's big. Do you have a, a net? Yeah, it's under me. Just hold up a sec, I gotta get him to the front. Oh my god, that was not what I was expecting. That is insane, out in the open on a spoon. Holy sh boys. <laughs> that is fucking crazy. Oh, I don't know if I've got a good hook on him, but he is a good size. Oh my God. Guys, check that triple tail out. I've never ever seen that happen. Just out in the random, just fishing and he ate it with all these other like little shrimp in the water probably. But that is amazing. We're gonna go ahead and keep a couple triple tail today because it's been a while. That might be our cue. I just caught a catfish on a spoon. Uh, so. I mean, the water's literally boiling right here. Like, it's crazy. Right? Oh, it just landed. Did you see that? I don't know. It's a little heavier. It's really fast though. Yeah. Whatever it is. Oh, no! Oh, dude. Get out there. They're definitely not spooked. They're just sitting there. I'm gonna put it right next to him. No! Oh my god. I think it should. <laughs> I, I literally looked at him and he was going like. Like his mouth was going up and down. He was chewing up the crab. I don't see him anymore. It's working now. 
Maybe they're still there. Got him. That's true. All right, y'all. Got him on one of those chase baits. Uh, Crusty, crusty crabs you guys have been seeing me using for these guys. They work super well. Whoop, popped out, but he's little anyways. But yeah, this one's actually bright orange. You can see it a lot better. Did you catch one? Another smaller size one, but still cool. Wait, it like got him on like the button of his mouth. There it goes. Oh, oh. I think he's got it. I think he's got it. He's not terrible, but he's, but he's not huge. He's not terrible looking, but he's, I don't, I don't know if he'll make it. Dodging the net. Yeah. That's all right. Oh, no, no, there's one behind it. There's, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, yeah. He, yeah, go. He came up fast and went back down. I'm, I might be a little too close, but. Yeah, you see him? He's coming up on our side now. Yeah, he's right by your thing. I'm definitely going to be wrapped. Oh my god. He's got it. Said it. You sure? He's, he's wrapping you in circles around the buoy. There you go. Oh! I, wa I was watching him like chew on your jig head. Uh, he's actually still looking for it. Go for it, man. He's confused. Dude, he got it. He broke me off. Oh my god, look at that shark. You see how big he was? Yeah, let's see if he goes for that. That'd be cool. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. He's huge. He wanted it for a second. I'm gonna try and double up. That was crazy. They came way off the buoy. He's not too bad, right? Still not gonna go. He's not big, but many on this one, it's crazy. I'm assuming they're tiny. No, I'm already eight. I'm already eight. There's like five. Oh, damn. Yeah, he's looking for it. Yeah. Yeah, you got to really let them eat it. The problem is like they're undersized. I don't want to kill them, you know. When it's a big one and I see them, like I let them like until I feel like the rod like vibrating. God, there were so many right there. I've never seen that many on one. He's chasing it so hard. Oh my God, there's so many chasing it. He's got it, he's got it in his mouth. You see that? <laughs> he ate it right next to the boat. <gasps> oh, I thought I snapped my rod, but I didn't. We're good. They're so aggressive, it's crazy. Yeah, look, they're right here again. I think that's the first one I've seen that I'm like almost positive is a keeper. Okay, I think they see you. They see you. Okay, I think the big one's underneath. Go ahead. Uh, he's eating your cork. Is he really? Yep. There you go. There you go. I don't know if you've got the big one or the little one, but. You, doesn't look too bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh my god, I wasn't even paying attention. Feel good? 
Mm, it's questionable. Oh no, there he is. Not sure how good he is, but... <gasps> Did you hear him? Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He was, he was down bad for it. <laughs> oh my god, he's got it like in his throat. God damn it. Alright. Let's get you back in the water. I think it is. I think it is. I think he's getting ready to go for it. He's got it. There you go. <laughs> it's going nuts. Sorry, Woo, sorry, you're good. Sorry. You're good. Sorry. Let me sit in the fighting chair. <laughs> They're not bad, they're just not, they're just not quite there, yeah. Oh, like clockwork, like clockwork. <laughs> he just jumped. No, it's a red. Unless it is a trout, that's a Mogan. Oh my God, please get the net. That's a trout. Dude, that is a trout. Uh-oh. This could be in trouble. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, he's 19 inches. That's awesome. They could release on him. <laughs> All right, everybody, I'm back at home. So, pretty great day. You know, we had a great time fishing with my buddy, fishing with my buddy. You know, he caught two really nice reds. Um, I caught a nice triple tail. We both caught tons of short triple tail. He hooked like a 150 pound tarpon, totally unexpected. I've never seen one there before, but it ate a gulp on a popping cork that he was using and absolutely took off. I'm so sad I wasn't recording with the GoPro, but I was just honestly in awe when it happened so i just didn't even think about turning the camera on but um yeah great time honestly about that top water that i told you guys i was gonna try out i didn't get to throw it as much as i had hoped but at the same time like in the little time that i did throw it i threw it for two or three hours i didn't catch anything after catching something on the rapala skitter walk you know i wanted to make sure there were fish there and then i switched over to that top water and nothing you know i got a couple hits here and there but I just am not a huge fan of the mirror lure topwaters. You know, I just think they could improve them a little bit. Um, I think, you know, they're good in some aspects. And I know they catch fish. I know a lot of people really like them. I'm just not a big fan of them. I think it's a lot easier to walk, you know, Rapalas, um, Spook Juniors, regular Spooks, that type of stuff. Um, and so I always kind of gravitate towards those instead. But, you know, I think it's a cool concept. I think the lure looks great has a cool paint job, but um, definitely not the best walk in my opinion. Sound is pretty good, but yeah, 
those Chase Baits Krusty Krabs, they work so well for uh, triple tail. You guys have seen me use them over and over again with great success. Couldn't recommend those more, honestly, if you're trying to catch your first triple tail on artificial or maybe your first sheep's head on artificial. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was kind of a little different than what we originally planned, but um, I had a great time. Hope you guys liked watching it. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.